Hi, it's Mama Rose, and I just finished my making my kefir cheese. So make sure if you haven't seen that, you watch that video. And I wanted to do a quick video on the sweeteners that I use, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to back this up just a little bit. And I've got all these sweeteners here. So a, a long time ago, when I was first starting to switch over from sweet and low, which I used forever and ever, and I was convinced it was okay and it only was harmful to rats. And so I used it forever and ever, and I loved it. I started using the liquid sweetener. This is what allowed me, at least, to get used to the taste of using sweet and low to using uh, stevia. I like this flavor. This is from Trader Joe's. It's $6.99 for this two ounce bottle and it lasts for quite a while. Not as huge amount, depends on how much you're using, but um, this probably lasts you a month. And then I also got this, which is more of a bulk sweetener that they have. And so if you're gonna bake or something, you'd use this. I found that using this though, it did leave not a great flavor. So I never was too great a fan of it. Without anything else to use, um, my baked goods left much to be desired and they did taste diet. There is also a concentrate and extract on that. I don't think I have any of those jars left. I, I usually will buy them for Mark, and they're about this big. They're like $10. This is, I think, $6.99. But again, you have to use bigger amount. The other one that, um, what did I do with that? Did that thing fall? I just had another um, container here. Anyway, that's it's really, here it is right here. Um, the other the one that comes with the sweet and low, it's really tiny like this. And, you know, but I don't have one left. This is monk fruit extract. Now, the big thing to notice if you're going to order any of this online is that, and you might make the mistake of seeing this monk fruit extract and seeing that it's like $37 and then seeing something else that says monk fruit like this. And, uh, and it only being $10 or $15 or $20. And you're going to go for this thinking that it's the same thing. This happens to be the golden, but they do have the classic as well. And then you're going to find out that this is just a monk fruit sweetener with erythritol. This is monk fruit extract. So whenever you are looking for a uh, very, very concentrated, so all the stuff you hear about monk fruit, how strong it is and all that is, um, and this is, doesn't have any sugar alcohol in it. So monk fruit is like the new thing. It's real expensive. It is not as sweet as the other sweeteners. And I will use it and I will, I don't, I use it sparingly and I will use it with other things. But I, to be honest with you, mostly what I've been using now is uh, another combination. I'm going to grab that right now. These you can get. This is this happens to be golden. You can get this size at Costco right now for $8.99, which is awesome. It's, uh, I think it's two pounds or a pound and a half or a pound and three quarters, but it's a good deal. And this is monk fruit and erythritol. So the good thing about erythritol is, is where it is digested, I think they said it's the upper intestine, so it doesn't give you the gas that xylitol will or maltitol or xylitol or any of those other ones will give you gas if you eat too much of it. Real bad gas. You know, talk about, oh, oh, are you getting a tummy ache? Like on the good ship lollipop, bad tummy ache. And so, and other things that go with tummy aches too. This will not do it. So um, erythritol will not do that. It doesn't have that uh, super laxative effect or give you the gas. So I would stick with a monk fruit erythritol combination and you can't believe how much like sugar it tastes. I mean, unbelievable. Um, one of my daughters is just like a sugar fiend and she can't even tell the difference. She's buying that now. Not in the golden because they don't have it at Costco, but you can order that online. And if you go to Len Canto, a lot of times they'll send you emails and you can get 50% off on stuff. So that's kind of neat. This package I got at one of the 
uh, like Sprouts or one of those places. They have the smaller packages, and I think these are about $7.99, and this is classic, although I have lots of classics that are that size, but somehow I ended up with that. They also have, the same company has the powdered sugar, and this is two times as sweet. So if it calls for a cup of something, you only need to ha use half a cup of this. So in a way, this is a super duper deal because you're getting a pound of this, but actually it's like getting two pounds. And I got this again uh, from the La Canto um, website and I bought a whole case of it because if you buy a case, sometimes it's cheaper. And they also have maple syrup as well that you can get that I that I like. They've changed the packaging since I got it, but I'm, I'm just sticking on the sweeteners. Um, here's Swerve. Everybody's heard from Swerve about Swerve. This happens to be a confectioner's and these are not cheap. I mean, they might be $7.99, $8.99. I mean, maybe you can find them on sale for $5.99 once in a while. But um, it looks like I have two of these. <laughs> but they do have this in regular granulated, and I thought I'd grab that. This is my all-time favorite. I'm running out of battery here, so I better be quick. This is my all-time favorite. I love this pure. It smells like Jordan almonds. Um, I think I ordered this I got at Walmart. It's like $6.98. This, I think I ordered these online, but they might have them in Walmart, and I think they're like $5.98. And I like this. It's got a flip top. So you can, you can just put your scoop in there. Some of them have half. You can open up for half, but this looks, this design is a whole one. So that's kind of nice. And I'll mix these a lot. And then here is the Swerve Granular. So remember we had Swerve in the confection and then Swerve in the granulated. And Swerve is um, erythritol. I think that's all it is, is erythritol. Let's see what it says ingredients erythritol so that's the difference between this and this this is stevia and erythritol this is just erythritol i like this the best okay or the monk fruit with erythritol i like those combinations and if you do that you will not even know that you're making anything and not using you know uh, sugar you'll think it's sugar people that you cook for um that are in your family or if you go to a potluck or something they will never know that you did not use sugar in it um, and then this is monk fruit this was pretty pricey too this is monk fruit extract like i said and you, if you want to do just straight monk fruit, which is really very good and it's good for you, but it is kind of pricey. So those are my sweeteners. And then again, I, I do use all kinds of these sweeteners to flavor my kefir cheese or my yogurt. Um, if you can at all make it yourself, that's a way to do it. It's really not a lot of work. It just takes a small amount of effort. This company has a bunch of these too, and you can get these as well. So hopefully you learned a little something about sugar today, or I should say F-Sugar Replacement. Thanks for watching.